Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing an amazing new project called Tango, which is a text-to-audio generative model that uses large language models called Flan T5 as a text encoder. Now, Flan T5 has been fine-tuned for instruction and chain-of-thought based tasks, and it basically has significantly improved zero as well as a few shot performances and many natural language processing tasks. Now, this is quite a remarkable application as you're able to formulate such amazing audios with the form of a text using their amazing encoders. Now, throughout today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys a little bit more about this project and a little bit more about the analysis of what it's trying to accomplish. I'm also going to take a little bit of time to install it locally on your desktop, as well as showing you a lot of different examples as what they're trying to do and i'll also give you guys a link as to how you can play around with it on the actual web front and i'll also show you guys how to install it which i said before <laughs> now with that thought guys if you guys haven't subscribed please do so there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from i always post try my best to post daily and i always try to strive to give you guys the best content so i highly recommend that you check out my videos and as there's a lot of stuff that you'll definitely benefit from so please subscribe comment and like and with that thought let's get right into the video so as we talked about this is a new text to audio generative actual application now the project uses flan t5 which is another type of lm and it uses a text encoder that is incorporated within that lm and it has been specifically fine-tuned for instructions to process the input of text data. Now, the Tango model it also involves training a UNet-based diffusion model for audio generation. Now, this is something that they've developed, and I'll definitely be covering it over in this video. Now, despite training the LDM on a data set that is significantly smaller than those used by the other state-of-the-art models, I also think that Tango was able to perform comparably across both objectives and subjective metrics. Now, this is something that I'll be showing throughout today's video in comparison to other TTAs, as well as getting a little bit more in-depth analysis as to what Tango is trying to do by making its models, training, and interface code a little bit better with its pre-trained data so that you're able to get the best output. Now, you might be wondering, why am I showcasing such an application when there's so many different TTAs out there? Well, basically, one of the main reasons is because when I show you the examples as to how amazing it produces conditional sound effects, you will understand how great this actual application is going to be. The actual project has also been trained on four A6000 GPUs, and basically it's been supervised with the fine tone model of Flan T5. Now, this is going to make it so much more optimized with less data so that it can produce the best output. Now, how does this actually work? Now, let's take a look at the flowchart over here. Now, basically, Tango's project consists of three main components, and you can see this over here. Now, it's illustrated over here in this figure. Now, the first component is the textual prompt encoders, and this is where it receives the data of a text form. And it takes input descriptions of a desired audio and it basically encodes it. Now, the second component is the latent diffusion model. And this uses like the encoder's textual representation to basically generate a latent representation of the desired audio of the input that you given that you gave. Sorry. Now, this is prior from standard like noises as well as through reverse diffusions. Now, the third component is the Mel spectrum audio figure and this is what we can see over here now this is what is taking place as the latest audio representations are then constructed and basically it is fed to the basic like output and you're able to get the generative response now let's actually take some examples into place as to get a better understanding of what it's trying to do as a text to audio application now if you were to give this actual prompt of a man is speaking in a huge room you're able to get this generative response using its encoders listen through now from this representation you can see that the actual encoder represents what the actual descriptive text is and you're also able to get something like let's just compare it to a small room for example 
you can see that there's less of an echo and it re represents a smaller room and this is quite amazing guys because it's able to do a lot of different things like for example it's able to use a studio in my opinion it sounds more refined now you can even add something like this a racing car is passing by and it disappears now that is quite accurate describe the sound of a battlefield okay let me turn this down because i don't know how loud it's gonna be now i don't know about you guys but this could be a huge breakthrough for different sounds as well as like when there's different copyright services that try to copyright and monopolize on different sounds you could use certain things like this now obviously there's before you actually go on by doing that there's also limitations to it so before you actually get into doing that make sure you stay tuned for what we're going to talk about now these are some of the examples of descriptions that you can see and there's a lot of different things that you can actually take a look at on their website and i'll leave a link down in the description below so that this way you can actually get a better representation as to what they're trying to accomplish with their application now there's also a different thing that is audio ldm and basically it's built off of t like not built off of tango but tango is built off of audio ldm and you can see there's a huge difference in between uh, as to how improved tango has become now let's take an actual example by maybe just taking a wooden table tapping sound while water is pouring so you give it the description and this is how audio ldm would output it Now this is how Tango would sound. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely found it better with Tango. And obviously you can hear that the sound is very muffled or it has a very low quality feel to it. This is because these are recorded differently and they're not output it properly through the right actual files. So just keep that in mind. And this is, obviously if you are to generate sounds it would be more refined and it would sound way better now let's take another example of maybe an elephant noise now i don't know what that was trying to do with the audio ldm but let's see what tango is able to do now that definitely sounds like a definitely an elephant so tango did a better job and obviously you can see that it's not the best sound so keep that in mind obviously it's a work in progress so you're not going to get the best generative responses right now as it's still a demo and they're continuously going to improve on their actual app so that it can get the best responses now let's maybe try something that has a bigger like description so that you can get a better idea as to what type of sounds that it can actually generate Now that is quite remarkable. Even Audio LDM is able to do such an amazing job. Now let's see what uh, I believe Tur Tango is actually able to do. <laughs> Now that is quite amazing guys because this is not actual real footage. It's actually a, being made using a text to audio description, which is insane guys. And I, I really find this stuff to be quite remarkable as it's amazing to see progression of different things like this guys. Now you might be wondering what are some of the limitations now one of the limitations is that it has been trained on a relatively small data set and that is audio caps this is the actual name of their data set and this means that tango may not be also able to generate good audio samples from concepts that have not been through during like been set through like training and this is things like singing as well as like monologues as it's not been trained for that data set at this current moment, but they're obviously going to be continuously working on adding bigger data sets so they, they can expand their actual growth of different audio generation. Now, additionally, I also think that Tango may not be able to finally control its audio generation over textual control prompts, as it's seen in these examples where people like prompts are with subtle differences, like with production of like different 
examples and you're not able to get the best refined noises so uh, this is one thing that i also feel is a problem and these are some of the two limitations that i currently see but obviously in terms of its actual use cases you can go down on github and talk about the acknowledgements as well as how you can use it please make sure that you take a look at this so that you can get a better understanding before you actually use it and now i'm going to take a little bit to take, go into how you can actually install it locally on your desktop so first things first you got to make sure you have git installed this is so that you're able to clone the repository onto your desktop secondly you want to have python installed installed because this is going to be your code unpacker as well as different things that you'll use to edit the actual package and lastly you'll need visual studio code this is optional as this is another code editor that you will be using to edit as well as unpack certain things of your actual package now you can also use windows or linux or different like processors actual command prompt but i personally use visual studio code as it's much easier and a much more like appealing to actually work with now first things first you got to make sure you clone the repository you can do this by copying this link over here or you can do it by we'll click on this link over here and copying this repository so what you want to do now is open up command prompt oops command prompt once you have done that you place the click git clone link and then click into pressing enter now once it's done installing all the files what you can do in the meantime is go into the actual tango folder and that is by clicking cd tango and once you have done that and you're in the folder, you can start unpacking the different files of the repository onto your desktop. And you can do that by clicking enter and copy and pasting this link over here. Now, what it will do, it will take a couple seconds. I think I got an error because I don't have the right like installation of PyTorch. So make sure you install it by putting this in. And then once you're able to do that, you need to install the diffusers. So what you can do is once you install the right files, you can go into the right files by installing this. And what you can do is copy and paste this, and paste this into the thing so that you're in the CD diffusers file. And once you're in this, you can start installing the diffuser packages by basically clicking copy and paste and installing those packages into the diffuser file now obviously i have a little problem here because i do not have the right installation for the actual files so i'm not going to be going forward with that but basically once you have reached that you can start working with the different things and you can obviously train it as well as work with different data sets so you can obviously even play around with the interface by making it, it so it's easier to use and get a better generative response now this is just how you can actually Play around and install it locally on your desktop now i'm going to be showing you a little bit more of the actual res experiment results from what we can see here these are some of the results that tango project can be summarized with different models different data sets as well as the parameters now the tango model actually performed completely to a current state of the art models of text to, to audio different generative applications and despite being trained on much smaller data sets it has been able to outperform a lot of them and this is something that we can see at the bottom over here you're able to get better parameters as well as different like overall beneficial like contextual prompts as well as metrics that basically measure different like aspects of different TTAs now, the Tango project also released its model training interface code as well as its pre-trained checkpoints for the research community to use and build upon. So this is something that's quite great and will basically promote the further research and deployment of the field of TTA applications. Now, let's get into the actual part of where we can actually use this on the web front. Now, this is something that I'll leave in the description below. I'll also leave the link to the actual uh, actual white or not white paper but the research paper in the description below as well as the repo and the different links that you will need to actually install it locally on your desktop now with this hugging face interface of the actual application you're going to be able to use as well as generate different types of audios using a text to audio application and this is something that you can do for free completely without an api key now there's different examples over here now, for example, if I were to click two gunshots followed by the birds flying away with uh, while chirping, you can click that, click submit, and you're going to be able to get a generative response. It's going to take a little bit longer, but this is how, how you're going to be able to do it on the web front. And this is obviously going to happen as there's a lot of people using this, so you got to keep that in mind. 
but it's easy as that guys and you can also increase the steps as well as the guidance skill and you can tweak around with the parameters to get different types of responses of uh, what you're trying to do with your prompt now it won't take too long but it's, as you can see it's a little bit slower and if you have a beefy gpu i would highly recommend that you run it on your actual local as i do not actually have that at the current moment so i won't be able to do that but in this case i'll just show you on the web front and this is how you can actually do it and basically that's it for this actual application guys i hope you found this application of tango which is a text to audio and application and i hope you've got some value out of this and there's going to be a lot of different releases as well as use cases for this so i highly keep highly recommend that you keep a tab on this as it's going to be something that they're going to continue to develop and evolve over the coming weeks and years so thank you so much for watching guys i hope you found this video quite informative and with that thought i'll see you guys next time have an amazing day and i'll catch you later peace out fellas